Having a place to do your YouTube videos, your live streaming, and a place to work on your business is vital when you're working from home. So today, I'm taking you inside of my home office to give you a tour and to share with you some of the best tools that I love. And make sure you stick around to the end where I will share my best tips for staying productive and working from home. Let's go. You gotta just press record. If we're just meeting, my name's Heather Torres and I'm the COO here at Think Media. And my role is really unique. I'm doing everything from live streaming, creating content just like this, as well as doing things like writing copy, making Facebook ads, and helping the creators move the content forward. So I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I use, but my role really allows me to be versatile. I like to use my laptop, I like to be here in my home office, but I also love the versatility of being able to go anywhere. So let me show you what I have set up in here. First off, I've got my desk, um, bought this at Ikea, love Ikea, and I love having a big long desk. It allows me to be able to do my work, but if I need to be taking notes or if I have a creator come over and work with me, I've got a space for them as well. So I like having a really long, clean white desk. Second, I've got my computer. I love using my Dell laptop. This is just a gaming laptop and I'll link down below all of the things that I'm using here in my home office. But I love this laptop because it allows me to do things like live streaming as well as using my second monitor. So I've got a second monitor set up in my office and it comes on an arm. So I've purchased an arm so I can move the monitor up and down, allows me to have a lot of versatility in doing standing live streamings and trainings, but also allows me to have two monitors so I can have things like my Slack open and have things like my Facebook ads that I'm working through open at the same time. I've got my webcam. I love using the Logitech webcam. It's a super simple, easy webcam that makes you look great. And then I've got my soft boxes. I love having the soft boxes because they just allow for more light to be inside of this dark room. I like that I can move them around so I can change my shot. So if I'm doing a video like this, I can move it around the room to give me different angles while I'm producing content. The microphone that I'm using for creating our inner circle trainings or going live on the Think Marketing podcast is the Blue Yeti. And if you wanna check out more about that microphone, I'll list it in the description box below or you can click the link in the YouTube card. Now I work long hours and I don't think that you should be working sitting down the whole time. So let me show you my hack for getting a standing desk while I'm working. I got this on Amazon and I love it because it's adjustable. So I pull this bad boy out, open up the legs. I can put it down here, put my laptop right on top. And now I have a standing desk while I'm doing all my work. On this wall, I've got a whole wall of bookshelves and I love books. I'm a homeschooling mom and so I've got my kids' books and my books. I think it's so important to have a nice clean background for things like Zoom calls with brands or having team meetings or going live and being able to make sure that you've got a clean backdrop that represents you. You know, I'm a creator, I'm also a mom and I'm a homeschooling mom and so I want things that are gonna represent me in our YouTube videos and I love having books around me. So in just a sec, I'm gonna share three of my best productivity tips with you. But if you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'd love to know, do you work from home? Is this new for you? Or have you been working from home for a while? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so my productivity tip for you, number one, is to make your space intentional. I really think it's important to not have clutter in your workspace. So that's why I chose a clean white table. And the only thing to have on it is my laptop and the things that are essential. So think about things like a cute coffee mug or having plants in your space. Be intentional about making sure that your space is clutter free and allows you to concentrate on the work that you need to get done. Tip number two for productivity is to work with a calendar. I use a digital calendar called Google Calendar and I highly recommend checking out videos about how to use Google Calendar, but I think it's really important to set your intention, especially with a home office or working from home, of when you need to be working. It's critical to know that your work time is your work time and your free time is your free time. So set yourself up for success by working within your calendar blocks. And my third tip for you is to actually get up. Every 90 minutes, get up, move your body, take a breath, 
close your eyes or get out for a walk, but leave your computer, leave your space. In order to stay productive, it's important that you're shifting your mind, that you stay focused when you need to be focused, but then you also allow yourself to have that time to let your mind just rest. So number one, make sure it's clean. Number two, make sure you know when you're working and have those blocks. And number three, get up, move your body and let your mind take a rest. Well, those are my tips for you. And if you'd like to see what our other creators office spaces look like, like Sean and Omar and Nolan from the Think Media team, make sure to check the description below or click the video on the screen to go to the next creator. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.